<laughs> okay. That was a great job, team. We really went in there. We're talking yeah, about yeah. She-Hulk and uh, the first episode. Why don't we? Why don't we just go ahead and? Why don't we? Why don't we just go? Why ahead? don't we just go ahead and? Uh, I'm I'm lightheaded. I'm actually lightheaded. Um, Did you bet? I would all? be too. I'm exhausted looking at you. I hope I hope it was I hope it was worth it, guys. I hope the music. You didn't you didn't breathe. I mean, it was it was tough. Did quiet? Did that one year of choir class not teach you anything about? It was not about beatboxing. Breath? No. Not about beatboxing. <laughs> um. So let's just go around. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Are you going to recommend people watch this show or are you going to caution them against it and uh, strongly advise against uh, wasting your time? I, I know what I think. Um, Dan, what do you think? Watch it, don't watch it? I'm going to watch it. But wow, it's sort of, it's not like a full thumbs up. It's sort of like, I don't know, like a little off the, like a 45 degree angle, right? Because... I mentioned that's earlier. That's right in the middle. No, huh? I guess it's not. No, no. Okay. That's, yeah. I mentioned that's... earlier, you know, as good as it was, I mean, it's 30 minutes long. I feel like I, I might just have to. This is one of those shows you got to keep watching as it happens because otherwise the internet will ruin it for you. So I'm sort of stuck having to watch it every week. But ideally, I would like to just binge it all, at, you know, once it's all up there. Because I, I just feel like 30 minutes is too short of an episode for me to, like, watch once a week. I binge, like, four episodes of Friends at any given sitting. So. I'm, yeah, you know. Interesting. Mm. Uh, Roland, watch it. Don't watch it. I I think yeah, you kind of if the internet doesn't ruin it for you, you should probably wait. You know, get a little. How is I'm sorry. Thing. How is the internet going to ruin it? What do you guys mean by that? Like spoilers. Yeah, because you know this is this show apparently has a lot of cameos, and all these cameos like well, the first episode didn't have. I mean, you can maybe call the Hulk a cameo. I don't know. It depends on how often he's gonna show up in the rest of the show. But apparently, in every episode, they're gonna have like somebody like we talked about it when we talked about reasons to watch Hulk, and he had like Wong and Daredevil and Abomination. Yeah. So it's like gonna be like WandaVision. Like they might have Quicksilver show up or the you know, the actor who played Quicksilver in the X Men universe. And then if you hadn't watched that week's episode and you were waiting to binge the whole thing, it will be ruined for you. Like it's hard to hide from spoilers on the internet. So Yeah. Okay. Catch but I think... Oh no, Roland, Watch. finish your thought. Okay. No, it's fine. <laughs> don't no, don't put the whole screen on me. It's fine. It's good. Sorry. Go on. It's okay. Okay. Actually, Anna, what do you think? Watch it. Um, don't watch it. I don't know, man. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I think I will probably like. It's one of those shows that's like when we used to have just basic cable, and there was you know, like scrolling through the channels. There was nothing to watch, and you're like, fine, I'll settle for like Law and Order because it's on. And you're like, you know, it's not that bad actually. Maybe I'll watch a couple more episodes, but it's not the best. That's how I feel. I think I will watch it, maybe. Not in as it's happening. I don't really care about the spoilers, so I'll just let it all go up and binge it. Mm. But uh, that's how I feel. I honestly don't mind the the 30 minute thing. I'm like, oh, thank God. You know, it's like we're getting them out quick. That's, that's how, how I feel how too. I like it. Yeah, yeah. My favorite thing about it is that it's only 30 minutes. I'm going to yeah. go ahead and say, please don't watch this show. Oh, my gosh. The, All right. the writing is abominable. The acting, outside, she's good. She's good. She does a good job. I Everyone else, say, yeah. pretty bad. Pretty bad acting in this show. Um, I CGI, like her friend. Her friend's CGI, good. not very good. Um, plot, very... It's not great. It's um, one episode though, right? Like how much can you do? Yes, yeah. and, uh, and I'm going to tell you, made a horrible first impression on me. Yeah. Um, ju the, just just the, in, the car crash alone, um, you know, because we talked about it last week. The original concept here was there's a blood transfusion, you know, and yeah. like that actually makes sense. Here it's, you know, it all happens in one scene. It's, oh no, you're cut. Get your cut away from my cut. Oh no, my cut's in your cut. And like, it was so clumsy. And then of course, you know, just the, the whole, you know, I've been stuck like this for 10 years trying to figure this whole thing out. And she goes, do you think I'll be stuck like this? Cut to next scene. She's not. It's like, okay, great. She's, and the whole premise of this is like, she's like Hulk, but she's better. 
She, yeah, well, I, I mean, Rowan. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say they showed Hulk as clearly being more in tune with his abilities and still, you know, like, cause he's like at one point holding her back with his hand because she's like, she's like trying to like, it was a whole cartoon like thing. I don't, I didn't think they, they, I think at the end of the day, the impression that I got from the show is they're different. It, they're not necessarily like they didn't really specify one of the Hulks is better than the other. They just said they're different, which makes sense. Yeah, I mean, one of them is a guy. I know. And the other one's a gal. Like, it's... <laughs> but it's like they're rewriting the rules of being a Hulk for her. Um, and this is the whole episode is really setting up like how is how is her power going to work? Which you have to do. That's fine. Don't take issue with that. Um, almost every male character in this, except for the Hulk is flat, phony, not a real character. There's no depth to any of them. They're basically caricatures of an idea of toxic masculinity that I think, you know, it's just, it's unrealistic and it's kind of on the nose. Yeah, I um, agree regarding like the, the other lawyer who's basically trying to take over. You're never going to make it. Well, right. I mean, like in this yeah. day and age, if he said that, like he'd be canceled immediately, you know, and he had witnesses, other people hearing him say that to her face. Like you, there's no way he would be able to say that. And it was so, um, there was nothing subtle about it. You nothing know, like I, I think it, like it's, there's nothing wrong with like trying to drive that point that it's like, she's a woman uh, trying to like, you know, fight with these like men who are trying to dominate her and like prove like, oh, you can't do this stuff. But like, it's like, if you're like, constantly saying you can't do this because you're a woman like just straight to our face constantly it's there's there's nothing it, it, it doesn't feel genuine it just feels very forced and it's like we have to think that or we're horrible people for you know not thinking that way you know like like i want to i want to be able to see it just so much more subtly and not there That's was a ver <laughs> there was a severe lack of subtlety in this show yeah um having said that you know i appreciate the fourth wall breaks I like the idea that uh, she's trying to just be a lawyer. I thought I did, you know, chuckle when they said, you know, who are you? And in every other, you know, who are, who am I? I'm Spider-Man or who am I? You know, I'm Iron Man. There's, yeah. who are you? You know, I, you know she, I'm an attorney. And, uh, you know, she introduces herself by her first and last because she really does not want to answer the call to adventure here. Um, and so, there's some humor in that, but this was not entertaining enough for me or even light enough for me uh, to just be the kind of show where I sit back and watch it because I don't want to think too hard. Like, you know, still... I I actually felt that this episode was more of like the Hulk's journey um, mm -hmm. because it was him coming in and helping his sister who he, or cousin, cousin. I, don't, I don't know, whatever, his, his relative and uh you know who he kind of accidentally like it's not intentionally his fault but in a way it is and he's here to help her and train her and he's like thinking oh you know we're gonna have to take years on this and then suddenly she's doing everything perfectly and he yep. has to accept that knowledge after the years of torment and suffering he had to go through for himself so it's like within five minutes he has to just be able to accept and acknowledge that she's gonna have a so much, like a much easier time than he is. Still help yeah. her, even though she's being really like bratty about it. Which I mean, I understand. You know, she's upset. She's like a Hulk now, and um, it was it was like his his journey of acceptance as opposed to you know her. It it, it was she just kind of like every, she got her way the entire episode. I mean, yeah. obviously she didn't want to be a She Hulk, but she's a perfect She Hulk. She can do everything automatically. She can control yeah. it. And she's going back to be a lawyer. She got everything she wanted and wrapped up. In she can have it all. Um, Dan, yeah. uh, Roland, defend it a little bit because I know like some people are going to enjoy this. You clear like you're gonna you're gonna watch more episodes of this, right? Oh yeah, for sure. What's like what do what's what do you what's in it for you? Like what are I, you looking forward I, to? Well, I mean, it's like what you said. It's there's not you don't really know what the story is about um, in this first episode. This is just kind of to like hey. Here's what she, this is what she's about. This is how she got here. Let's get this out of the way. Um, you know, kind of introduces uh, Titania at the end of the episode. Um, that's who like crashes into the court scene. Mm -hmm. um, kind of sets some things up and just goes to show like, hey, this is going to be a lawyer show. This is going to be a different kind of lawyer show. So let's, let's have fun with it. And I want to see how fun they get with it. Because um, 
I think you know, that, Jen Walter they, seems like a fun character. She's, she she's does. cool, and I, I want to see more of her. I, I think her. they could they could have more fun with the law parody. You know, yeah. Like, if you did a Law and Order type theme song for this, and you did and you did the opening credits as though it was a Law and Order show, you know, with her walking, but like she's She Hulk next to all of these other lawyers, it'd be really it'd be yeah. funny to be well, self aware in that respect. They did a lot well, of marketing that way. Have you guys you've seen the tray like the clips right where they're they did a Law and Order intro version of of a commercial, and then they've also there was like this. You know how you get those lawyer infomercials like have you been injured in a something something like they've yeah. they've done commercials like that promoting this show. That's that's great. What I'm saying is though like that's the sense of humor that the show itself should have. You know, because basically at the end of the day that's false advertising saying this is going to be the sense of humor of the show and then you get there and it's it's not there. Well, let me so here's something that I found out after watching the sh the first episode. Apparently, this episode was initially meant to be the 8th episode. So there's 9 episodes total in this season and this was supposed to be the 8th episode. You know how like Disney has plus has had this uh, pattern where the penultimate episode of every series tends to be like this big flashback episode. So apparently yeah. they, they were going to like flashback to the origin of how she became She-Hulk in that penultimate episode and they were going to start off in the beginning with just she's a She-Hulk. Like then we just kind of like pick up from there and then I wish they had they went and reshot a lot of stuff uh, they, to like make sh to basically take episode eight and turn it into episode one. So you can imagine that to like find ways to stitch together, which is why like the final sequence where Titania comes in, it kind of feels like really rushed and quick. But what I'm trying to get at is all of that adds up to this first episode being sort of out of it's not being the typical episode that you're going to see the rest of the way. I think the yeah. the rest of the eight episodes yeah. are going to feel more like that procedural comedy sort of a situation uh, a show versus this first one which is more like they just want to give her an origin story right up front and get her on the go you know yeah and i saw like i appreciated that because the way that they'd shot it she goes oh yeah i'm a she hulk i know you're not going to be able to pay attention unless like good fourth wall break good yeah. you know um good yeah i mean that was that was clever and at that point which is what a minute into the show, I was like, okay, maybe I'll enjoy this. And then I didn't. Um, I, I think, I think that if this is, if that's what they're going for, if that's the, the path that they're going to take, this pilot, this first episode was a weak one because it didn't establish the tone really, um, or manage any expectations yeah. for what the, what, what's coming next. At the end of this, all I really know is like, She's going to continue rejecting this call to adventure, but she can, she's can. she got complete control over her powers. Um, By the way, question about that. Is is her breaking the fourth wall, is that like her altar? Because you know how Bruce said, you don't even have an altar. I have a second guy in here. And then like within that same you know few minutes, the first time you see her turn and say something to the camera and then both she and Bruce like make a weird face like it's like so it's like well, showing it's her first time doing it and mm. he is he noticed well, no, yeah that shot right there he's That's not looking at the camera though she's the only one breaking no the no no wall. he's he's looking at her because he heard her like it's showing that we're not the only ones hearing her talk to oh. us. Like he's he heard her say something you know he acknowledged that's, he's like Whoa, that's what's she? straight out of Fleabag I was going to say, I, yeah, I didn't want yeah. to say it, but yeah, Fleabag for sure. Well, yeah. I mean, Roland, how closely is this aligning with the comic book version of the character? Because a lot of those traits are straight out of the comic book, right? Oh, yeah. She she was doing the fourth wall breaks before Deadpool was doing it. You know, like yeah. she's the, the OG, like, funny character. And <laughs> really? it's even funnier, like, that she was not only is she, like, a Hulk and trying to be, like, a lawyer and, you know, it's... It's funny. That's all. <laughs> and uh, hopefully they'll they'll use that. They seem to have a light sense of humor about it. I don't care what Andrew is saying. It's It seems nice and light. And I, I hope they keep at it. And I hope they do that lawyer show that we were talking about. Me too. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to stick around to find out. But I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say about it. I think... That's pretty much setting the, setting the expectations for what we're going to cover. Hey, I have before we just finish up. Yeah. So, go ahead, Roland. Yeah. Well, I, I have this question. Why does her hair grow, but the Hulk's hair for some reason shrunk? 
Did anyone else notice that? Like, okay, obviously we knew like her hair was growing. You even see like this weird almost werewolf transformation as she like grows her like dark, almost straight hair. But uh, at the beginning, Bruce has this like kind of like long 70s haircut that he's yeah. got rocking. But as you can see, the Hulk has very short hair. So what's that? What's the hair logic? I, I I don't think we should look for much logic in the transformations here. She doesn't get super bulked out or anything. She's just kind of taller, a little more toned, green. I know uh, we're all sad about really, it. Really, at the end of the day, <laughs> like it's not a transformation so much as a makeover for her. Um, and that's yeah. that was disappointing. I was like, show me a yeah. real hulked out. I know we all want it, but they wanted to see that. Like they said, they no they no no. Yes, she it. should be hot. Well, I mean, but like, look at Roland's background. Like, it's there is a ver like there's comic book versions of the character where you could see that they made her like way more jacked and more, yeah, like wide. I think part of that has to do with they do at some point have to set a boundary on just how far do they, do they want to get away from what the actual actor looks like, right? And it's yeah, I think for Tatiana Maslany, like she's not she's she's a you know not a tall particularly tall person or anything like that she's not a, like she's not like a gal gadot even gal gadot she's got slender frame but she's tall right yeah but it's i think it will be pushing the lim limits of like believability it already is but even more like i mean it's it's easier to i mean mark ruffalo it's easier to like imagine that hulk looking like the way it does but it, it doesn't look anything like the edward norton hulk it's supposed to be the same one in this case i would imagine what they're going to do is over time they're going to evolve the physique of she hulk but part of this okay. probably is limited. Like we talked about the tech, the CGI packed episode, and you could tell that the CGI on Hulk is way better because they've had 12 years to perfect it. Better texture, better model. It's it's a lot more detailed. Whereas her, in some shots, it looked like it was painted on green paint, like Lou Ferrigno's Hulk. And I think that's because they're working on like the smaller budget because it is still a TV show. They might have spent yeah. 25 million per episode, but they're not spending 150 million on like 90 minutes of a movie. So I think some of that CGI is going to improve over time as like maybe they have her jump from the show to a movie. Um, but before maybe we finish she'll up... Maybe upgrade like a Pokemon. Like, yeah. You know, I wanted to touch upon this because this is like a big... I apparently did not know this was a thing, but apparently in the Marvel world, uh, sphere of fans, it's a big deal talking about Captain America's virginity. And this is something that the episode makes a point of addressing um, by setting it up in the beginning and then having a whole post credit scenes devoted to it. What did you guys think about that whole thing? I mean, did, did the joke land with you or was that not anything you care for? Yeah, it was uh, funny. Okay. It was I more... kind of... Go ahead. Well, I was going to say it's more shocking than anything that they would say that for a Disney show. I think in my head, I'm still like... Disney, Disney. So well, they cut it off. You don't hear the whole word. He's like, she's like Captain America, fool, and then they just cut it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that was good. I like that. Yeah. Catch you on what? What were you gonna say? Oh, I, I, nothing important. I was just gonna say where I was watching it. <laughs> I, I couldn't really see the screen properly. I was sitting outside on my laptop, so it was all oh. very dark. So I was trying to figure out how to like be able to see it properly. And I was kind of in and out of that moment. And then I was like, oh, wait, I missed the crash. So let me rewind that. And then I kind of like wasn't paying attention to the Captain America. I was I heard them talking about Captain America. I'm like, oh, that's yeah. nice. They're talking about him. That's all I got out of it. I, uh... Cool. I don't know. <laughs> the, the more the more mythology that I have to keep track of, even for that's the thing. This is supposed to be the 30, the light 30 minute sitcom esque show. And yet it still requires a vast knowledge of all the Avengers stuff and like all of the Marvel mythology. And that's an that's a big ask for something that you're just supposed to kick back and spend 30 minutes relaxing to and not pay too close attention to. So if they solidify the idea and the humor and all of that, I think they can they can do a good job making this its own thing. Uh, honestly, I'd prefer it if they sort of made it separate from the larger MCU and just made it its own fun show. I think that would be better. But that's what I think. I'm sure there's somebody out there who might disagree. Tell us in the comments if you do. Be our friend. 
Uh, be our frenemy. We, we'll take those. We'll take anybody we can get. <laughs> Interact with us. We enjoy guy in a green shirt. Hey, look, look, we're doing better today. Um, thank you for watching. Subscribe. We're on all the things. We're on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and pretty much any place you can get a podcast. So let's go on to the next thing.